All right, so in today's tutorial, we want to look at how to simulate the transition probability metrics and diagram in R. So first, we'd like to clear all our working environment and graphics using um, this code of line. So once we are done, we have to load this required package. That is the markup chain package. This package contains some functions that will help us to simulate our transition probability metrics and also to visualize the transition probabilities using the state transition diagram. And it also has other functions that we'll be looking at in our subsequent tutorial, okay? So if you don't have this package installed, you have to install it. You can click on um, packages. Once you click on packages, you can click on install and type in the name mark of chain. Make sure that you have access to internet to complete the installation, or you can decide to use install, install.packages, okay? And type in the name um, mark of chain. Right, to complete installation, make sure that you have access to internet to complete installations. So once you're done installing, you have to load this package using the library function. So I'm gonna highlight this and run this. All right, so now let's take an example. So um, in this tutorial, I want to simulate this transition probability metrics. So first we can create our metrics, okay? So let's get our metrics. All right, so um, there's going to be the metrics. I'm assigning the metrics to um, the variable n, okay? So in here, we are going to move by row. So the specification here is true. So we are going to um, basically pick this value 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.7, 0 0.90. 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.8, and 0 0.1, okay? So by row is true, then because the transition probability matrix is a square matrix, once we specify the number of rows to be three, it means that by default, the number of columns will also be three. So this will become a three by three matrix. So let's execute this, control enter. So here we go, All right? So now we want to add the current state and the future state, okay? can see here we have um, state 0, 1, 2, that's the current state and the future state of 0, 1, 2. So in order to add this, we can make use of the um, new function. So yeah, I want to define the transition probability matrix. So um, you're making use of a new function, you can call a package markup chain, the transition matrix is M, which we have here. Now the state we have zero, one, and two, and I'm giving it a name to be DTMC. You can choose to give it a different name, okay? So let's try and execute this. Control enter. So let me scroll down, yeah. So this is going to be the result, so you can see that now we have simulated this transition probability matrix, okay? So now this looks similar to the um, matrix that we have on the slide. So you can see our current state as well as the future state and you can just see the transition probabilities, okay? So now how do we um, visualize the transition probabilities? We can make use of the state transition diagram. So in R, we can make use of the plot function on this DTMC to get the state transition diagram, okay? So let's execute this, control enter. So let me go to the plots. Okay, so here we go. So let me zoom this. is taking some time to hmm. so this is how the state transition diagram will look like if you think this is not um the diagram that you want to see you just have to rerun this again so i'm going to run it again and see the diagram has changed so let's try and zoom this 
So here we go, okay. So this is how the state transition diagram also look like. So this will bring us to the end uh, for this tutorial, please. So this is basically how to simulate transition probability metrics and diagram in R. Please, if you find value in today's tutorial video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.